Hey everyone, this is John with the Active Towns channel and I am in Austin, Texas today uh, celebrating a brand new cycle track, two-way cycle track. We're going to be over here at uh, the Agave Neighborhood Park uh, getting started. We're going to do a community bike ride. So let's swing around and check it out. My name is uh, Brandon Farmahini. I uh... I don't know, I'm a community loudmouth, basically. Love it. Uh, advocating for uh, better infrastructure, uh, not only in this city, but around the country. Mm -hmm. You know, there's really no reason why we can't make things better. We have the, you know, the thought leadership, we have the engineering, we know what works, but the surprisingly hard part is taking what we know works and implementing it, because you have problems with uh, overlapping municipalities, uh, funding, <laughs> and, you know, a general, perception of people don't like change so uh, it's kind of tough but you know through a lot of community engagement and you know listening to people and really following best practices I do think you can create something really awesome and that's what we try to do here uh, with Sendero Hills and we're hoping eventually this will serve as not only a way for um, these 600 homes to get to the new Colony Park pool being built and the uh, RBI Austin facility if they ever get their plans approved but eventually maybe we can get a trail connection all the way through agave park the 16 acres underneath the cap metro railroad over johnny morris to the walnut creek trail and we'll have basically a 51st street corridor from mueller down 51st on the pedestrian bridge over 183 past the y to the walnut creek trail and we'll turn that three-way intersection to a four-way intersection bring it here and then maybe all the way to decker and the rodeo that's really what we're about is trying to create new connections new options for people and you know if you don't bike that's okay because some people will and those people won't be driving their cars really it, there's a tremendous amount of of equity opportunities to make transportation cheaper and easier and safer you know get your kids out of the house let them go bike and don't have to worry about them getting hit by a car like who could be against that coming out and helping celebrate a major infrastructure project. Uh, first, I want to introduce uh, the uh, nonprofit here that's going to be teaching some bike safety to anybody who's interested, uh, especially important in this neighborhood when it comes to the hills, knowing how to ride those brakes as you go down. It is uh, Jasalo, uh, and they'll be here teaching uh, bike safety before we go out on our tour. So especially if you have the young ones, and you want to get them to learn a little bit, please talk to them. Hi, I'm Derek Hansen from Desalo Cycling Initiative. I uh, leave the Austin team. We're here today providing some safety education for all the kids and adults that are going to ride this wonderful new uh, section of bike lane in Agave neighborhood. We're excited to be here and we're going to have a fun ride. Let's go. Uh, I want to thank um, the Neighborhood Partnership Program with the City of Austin. That's kind of how all of this started. It was a, a grant funded by bond money that we all voted for in 2018. And we said, hey, we would love to make this street a little bit safer for people, uh, slow cars down, and also make it so people can bike. And uh, they were super awesome and helped us through the whole process. Uh, and so I just want to thank the uh, NPP program because as you work with the city, you realize how difficult their jobs are. Uh, they have to juggle the state government, the county, uh, the regional planning association. They have to juggle legal easements. It's like a nightmare. It's really, it's impressive that you can do anything. Uh, and all the time, you know, they really just kind of usually hear the negative stuff from people. So we want to make sure that both the uh, NPP and the uh, Austin Transportation Department, which we also have representatives here for, feel a little appreciated for their work. So if we get a round of applause for them. Yeah. You know, you hear people talk about freedom a lot in this country and no one really knows what I don't think that means. Uh, to me, freedom is the ability to, you know, enjoy your environment the way you want. If you want to drive, great, you can drive. If you want to bike, you can bike safely. People blame video games for the reason why kids are inside. They're inside because they can't go out without getting hit by a car. We have a new $15 million city pool being opened at the end of Loyola. 
And I think every single kid in this neighborhood should be able to go to that pool, be able to get there safely on their own without their parents and just enjoy the outside, enjoy the weather and enjoy the city around them. Um, so that's really what this is all about and this is really what we're working towards. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little profile of the Sendero Hills uh, cycle path. Uh, what a fun community ride and great to see everybody out here. Uh, hey, if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and share it with a friend. And until next time, this is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health and happiness. Cheers. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much.